All right, you ready? Okay, cool. All right, having the courage to take big risks is something I wish I would have started a lot earlier in my life. Um, this is one of my favorite quotes from Tina Fey, a famous comedian. She's a favorite person, love her. Um, you can't be that kid standing at the top of the water slide overthinking it. You have to go down the chute. Um, and basically, I think we can all agree, um, that's what um, risk taking is all about, right? Um, uh, I was definitely that kid, most, for most of that life, I've been that kid standing at the top of the, of the water slide like afraid to go down, especially when it comes to music. Um, I have always wanted to play music. Um, I went back and tried to find the earliest picture of me engaging with music, and this is me in my early 20s with my then boyfriend, Ozone. We had a, we had a band, and as you can tell, we were, we were horrible, okay? Um, we never played out or anything. Uh, but ever since, since then, I have been trying to make a go of it at, at, at music. Um, I've already told you guys a couple of stories in class about how I shared one of my, my songs with, um, with a KEXP DJ. Um, and then I also told you how recently I started playing with the band for the first time and how fun that's been. Um, but now I want to tell you about um, my initial forays into music production, the act of recording music using a software device. Um, and honestly, the inspiration for this came from came from past senior projects. I've seen other, I've worked with seniors who've been re recording music and I've always thought, gosh, this looks really fun. Um, I really, I really want to do that. Um, and uh, myself and try that. And that's my brother calling. Um, and so um, late last spring, I went on a trip with my friend uh, Shona and in my Instagram feed, this, uh, this advertisement for a monthly class comes up. Um, learn to write pop songs with Ryan Tedder. Um, and I thought to myself, like, heck yes, I'm so into this, I'm definitely trying this. Um, and uh, now Ryan Tedder, Tedder he's, uh, if you don't know, he's the lead singer of a band called One Republic. He's also a very famous singer-songwriter. Um, he's written songs for Beyonce and Adele and Ed Sheeran and others. Um, so Ryan agreed to teach this class for, for this service called Monthly, and Monthly is a company that offers 30-day creativity challenge classes with all kinds of well-accomplished folks. Now, of course, you don't really get to interact with these people. Most of the interaction comes with the community, with the other people that actually take the class. So the way it works is Ryan Tedder would um, record videos of his process and you know, you get assignments and you do the assignments and then you interact with the community um, with, with whatever stuff you're doing, right? And um, in the beginning, I thought the community was gonna be people like me, beginners who were just starting out in music production. But I soon found that I was way out of my league. That in my peer group, there was a, a, a girl who was pursuing, you know, she's a singer songwriter in LA and actually getting paid for her, her work. Um, there was, um, for instance, a, a music producer in Canada who was also pretty well-to-do. And there's also this Swedish guy who, it was his goal to win a Grammy by the time he was 30. So this is the kind of the peer group I'm floating in and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like so out of my league. And so when the, when the first assignment came up, um, I was terrified because I was gonna have to, you know, make music and share it with, with these people um, and the first assignment was to find a vibe for my song, you know, and uh, so I, I did that and I posted online and I'm just going to share a few, a few seconds of, of my vibe with you. So that's 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 the vibe, and so I got I posted it online, and and here's the response I got. 
Um, it was very positive. Um, actually, not that one. Um, it was really surprised. Uh, really surprising. Um, Dave said, "Really nice haunting chord progression. You can go anywhere with it. Looking forward to seeing where you take it." And I was very encouraged by that. I thought, "Cool." Um, and over the over the course of the song, I continued to get um, feedback. Uh, you know, other feedback. Some of it um, not so great. Um, like this this second one for 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 further draft of another song. First off, I really like the lyrics in your verses. They're visceral and kind of gritty. For some reason, it makes me think the Cranberries meets the 70s punk rock. Which I thought that was cool. It's, it, I know we're supposed to focus on lyrics and melody for these comments, but, and here comes the, the criticism, you know, uh, my suggestion would be for you to tune up your guitar and re-record. It's pretty distracting and clashes with everything else. So, I mean, all the feedback, um, I didn't always get it was good, but it did it did did help me along the way. So over the course of the whole class, we ended up producing three songs in total, um, and uh, you know we had to you know come up with a vibe, we had to come up with lyrics, we had to come up with a melody, we had to master the track, um, and it was a lot of work, and there was a lot to it. Here's a screenshot of, of the the DAW or digital audio workspace I was using. Um, this is Logic Pro. Um, as you can see, it's a really complicated piece of software, which meant I got really good at Googling stuff, like like how to clean up your, how, how do you clean up guitar noise, how to split a track in Logic. Um, I, I had to, you know, self, self teach myself a lot of things and I used YouTube to do it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there were days when I wanted to give up. I mean, days when I like actually cried. Um, you know, one day I had, you know, I learned to make my own drum track and that literally took out like six to eight hours. I finally did it, but it was super frustrating. Um, but in the end, I stuck with, stuck, stuck with the whole 30 day challenge. I made, you know, I ended up with, with three new songs, um, some online friends, and I learned lots of stuff and grew tremendously more confident in my music making. Um, I even created my own SoundCloud where I put all my stuff, which was cool. Um, and in the end, am I, you know, a, a great guitarist? Um, no, I'm still not a great guitarist or, or fab music produ pr producer, but I'm getting better. Um, my next goal, I'm, I'm turning 50 soon and I'm having a party and I'm gonna have post my first show. I'm gonna play two songs in front of my family and friends. So that, that, that should be cool. In the end, um, going back to the beginning, uh, what does it all mean? I think this takes us back to Tina Fey in the beginning. That is, I think all this goes to show that sometimes you just gotta take that leap. And when there's something you love, don't be that kid standing at the top of the water slide paralyzed. Um, you just gotta go for it. Finally, um, you're probably wondering about the final song um, from, that, from that vibe and all. We don't have time to play the whole thing, but I will play like 20 seconds or so. Here it goes.